Hi, welcome to the Albuquerque Museum. I'm Andrew Connors, the director here. We're here in the permanent collection exhibit called Common Ground, Art of New Mexico. And in honor of National Hispanic Heritage Month, we'd like to show you some of the highlights of the museum's permanent collection. But these are all on view on a regular basis. We'd like to take you down to the vault now so that you can explore some of the things that you can't ordinarily see. So let's go downstairs. Building on that great New Mexico tradition of weaving wool, uh, a number of artists have come up with different ways of solving problems and uh, going through some of the most difficult times while still being productive. Doña Agra Martinez, who uh, lived in Medinales for many decades, wove in the Depression out of rags because she found that she could shear her sheep and sell the wool for more money than she could sell the weavings made from that wool. So she decided to take all of the cotton rags of uh, shirts and jeans and tear them into little strips and then weave with those strips. This textile from the 1970s was woven entirely out of t-shirts. So she tore the t-shirts up from all of her family members and um, wove them into this rug that has absolutely traditional northern New Mexico designs based on Saltillo Sarape designs and then alternating with the stripes, but it's made entirely out of modern materials reused and repurposed in a very thrifty way. Doña Agueda was an absolute uh, tyrant when it came to saving materials and being conservative about using things over and over and over again until they could be used no more. But I love the way that she continues that recycling tradition but also makes something that absolutely is traditional New Mexican. When Hispanic settlers first moved into New Mexico, they brought with them sheep and goats and other animals. But it was the sheep that was so important to commerce and to all of the industry and home products that were necessary for people to keep warm in the wintertime as well as uh, eat through the wintertime. So the wool industry was incredibly important and many families had sheep and they sheared their sheep and they spun that wool into really beautiful uh, wool uh, yarns that could be woven into a variety of different textiles. Uh, this is a textile that's been washed many, many times so that you can see that the cochineal dye has shifted across what used to be white little stripes and now it's all become uh, this wonderful pink. There's also wear and tear of stains through the years. So while we love to think of the great master objects as being pure and pristine, that wasn't the reality for most people. People. Most people had working blankets, but the attention to aesthetics was truly astonishing to me. And I love the way that there are these wonderful wedge forms that create the stripes here on this blanket. And then at the top and the bottom, there are wonderful borders of that deeply saturated red cochineal dye. So the weaving tradition kept people warm for generations in New Mexico. And there are a great number of transitions and st stylistic shifts, regional traditions uh, that, you can be, uh, that can be traced back to particular communities. And um, so we have hundreds of examples of these historic, these historic weavings uh, that can tell us so much about the change in time. 